Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a very short container store haul as a part of my larger clean with me video that was published around the same time as this one. I will link it in the description and also throw a card up here. If you're interested in watching it towards the end of the video, you can just pop into it. But this is pretty much just gonna go over everything that I got from the container store. The clean with me video it's going to go over how i implemented it so it kind of gives you the best of both worlds and we can just go ahead and get started the one thing i wanted to focus on when i went to the container store is focus items because that store is huge you all know or you may know if you've been in a walmart home goods whatever it may be general overarching advice that i have if you are going to the container store one measure your spaces where you need containers or containment of items. I almost didn't measure and then I realized that would be awful if I went there and I would be eyeballing it. So measure the spaces, take pictures of the spaces so you can also visualize while you are there. And then I would definitely try to have an idea of the functionality that you want in your space before you go because it is a little overwhelming. They have either bins or pull out drawers. They have wire racks or all wood racks. There's just a plethora of different items and then different versions of that item. So knowing what kind of functionality you want before you go is going to help you tremendously narrow down your search and also be able to tap an associate if they come up and ask you if you want help. Typically, I'm the kind of person that shies away from getting help from people when they offer it in the store, but the container store employees are so helpful. And yeah, I just recommend utilizing them. I did the whole entire time I was there. I found somebody and I was like, this is what I want and this is what I need. And I already gathered a majority of my things and they either told me that was a good fit or I could look somewhere different for something better. So without further ado, let's get started. The first place that I wanted to really organize was the kitchen pantry. So I'm gonna pop a shot of the kitchen pantry here before this was a hot, mess express our kitchen pantries as you can see they're very deep but they also just don't offer a lot of functionality for us to be able to store deeply without seeing what we're doing for larger items i got this commercial rollout drawer and if i install it in time of this video i will pop an overlay here it might not be the case but anyway these kind of drawers allow you to pull it out completely there are different types of drawers at container store that look a little bit nicer than this one this one was about i think 59.99 and it was really smooth in the demo that i tried in the store so i got a few of those because that has been our main pain point with the pantry we just we love the storage but we need to be able to pull it out to see what is there so i got two 14 inch and then i got a 20 inch drawer system you'll also see a theme in all of my purchases that are drawer theme because everything we have is pretty deep but it's just hard to get to the items or something's obstructing our view up top and we need to pull it out to see so i got these for snacks it is just a drawer system that i can put in the pantry and just have it like this there is going to be a wood shelf right on top of this so it's going to be nice to have the functionality to pull it out this is just your basic all-purpose stackable divider so if you have space you can actually stack this on top in addition to this one i am the kind of person that likes to keep sauces that i frequently cook with on hand so i got this stackable divider something i do is i continue to buy different vinegars that i already have because I forgot I have them. Hopefully this will allow me to see the different sauces that we have without having issues seeing what's all the way in the back. For taller snacks like chip bags or meat sticks, whatever it may be, I got this drawer system that's gonna go on the 
on the shelf that's a little bit taller, so it's just a narrow drawer system. I actually found this in the closet area, but I knew that it would fit the function I needed for the pantry. All right, that's pretty much all I got for the pantry items. Moving on to my desk. So my desk is a very, again, this is a theme with our furniture in our house. It's a very deep system. So it has four shelves in it and they're deep. They go all the way back, but there's not a whole lot of ways to look inside. It's about 10 or 11 inches tall each shelf. It's very dark wood and it's over 22 inches deep. So if I stuff something all the way in the back, it's near impossible to find it unless I take the time to get down there, move everything else that's in the way and pull it out. And oftentimes I just don't do that. So what I've decided to do is get little organizer systems. I went for cheap here because it's going to be stored away and it still serves the functionality I need. So one thing I have, I have a lot of different kinds of pens and markers. So for my everyday pens and markers, little sticky pads, scotch tape, etc., I have these little drawer systems that I can just slide out. Very simple and they fit the space I need. This will go in one of the bottom drawers. And then for paperwork, I have a lot of paperwork that I store on my desk as well. So one thing I got is the letter size drawers that I can pull out and I can just organize it by business and by home. So I can have two different stacks. These are stackable, so you can buy as many as you need. As you can see, you can just slide it right out, check out what you need and slide it back. So in the desk, I can also fit this large drawer that I can slide open and close. And for the items that I want to have stand up a little bit easier, I found these interesting grip items. You can see the demo of how it does it there. And I'm just gonna pop these here alongside some notebooks or books that I have so they can sit comfortably here, hold items up that I can easily see when I open the drawer and then close it. That's pretty much all I got for the desk. Moving on to the sink area. I have little rubber gloves. You can kind of see them here. I really, I stain them. They look kind of bad after a while. And before completely replacing them, I just want to hide them. So I got this hook that's gonna go on the sink shelving down there. It's gonna have the gloves that live inside of it and I can just pop it open and pop them on whenever I need them. Something else I got was this touchless soap dispenser. So my soap dispenser continually just jams and I'm really over it. So this is gonna be really nice to have a rechargeable soap dispenser. And in addition to that, we have two really scary junk drawers. Ooh, baby. I got these two organizers. I'm gonna put one in each and just have empty space around all the junk. So I can then see if I need any additional storage or just have free space around it. Okay, and finally, for my closet, I have a really cluttered space that I store my purses in and just random items such as my hats or anything that is small that doesn't go necessarily in its own drawer. I got these two open front bins. They're clear so I can see from the side what different purses are going to be in them. I'm just gonna pop these at the top of the closet system so I can store my purses and have just some division and organization to them. On top of that, I also have another one of these organizers that I showed you before that allow you to pull the drawer out and in, and this will also live towards the top and have smaller items that I need to pull the drawer out to access easily. All right, that is my haul. If you want to check out any of these items, I'm going to link everything that I possibly can below for you. Feel free to peruse. This is not done in partnership with Container Store. This is me just going and trying to find use of what I need for my spaces. And I just want to share in case somebody thought this YouTube video would be helpful for them as they navigate the Container Store because it is a crazy place. But if you want to see the final products of how I stored everything, feel free to watch my Clean With Me video. In the meantime, I'm so happy you're here. Thanks for watching. And if you like lifestyle content, like morning routines, clean with me's, days in my life, etc., feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Bye, friends.